is the new black. Netflix I, will be. That, right. That's the final season, isn't it? I don't know, but it's usually I comes heard out it in was. the summer. I heard it was the final season. Yeah, I mean, they've been out a while. I think it's time to wrap it up or do I something. haven't watched it in like two, three seasons, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it went, to, it, it, it it was good, and then one season wasn't, and I think the last season started out slow, but it ended good. Yeah. So, yeah. But, you know, you always got time to catch up on them all at some point. There's not like there's spoilers. Crushing. Or... Netflix is crushing it, though. Yeah. So I have to tell you something I'm just watching that is beyond disturbing. And it's a... Of course you're watching a disturbing show. What are you Listen, watching? it's called The Act. And... The last episode came out last night. It was who yeah. they were dropping it weekly, but I uh-huh. I only I binge like six, and then I only had two weeks. You know what I mean? So I could binge them. Now you can binge all eight of them because it's done. Yeah. It's the true story about that little girl whose mother kept her in that wheelchair. It was like. Oh. 15 years ago or maybe not even 10 years ago and she's Kept in, her in a wheelchair yeah i don't want to tell you anymore oh. in case you watch it because you are amy you and you guys i can't watch it. i won't watch that i don't think it's I'll not watch gory it. or anything it's just no i know but it's just disturbing i don't know if i can watch that <laughs> well it's a true story it's tr- right that's why it's disturbing <laughs> well so the yeah, mother I mean, had so, like a munch so I mean, type thing so she so she always she made, made her stay in the chair. Is that what she happened? made her think she couldn't walk? She made her oh. think she was allergic to sugar. She had her oh. on all this medication. So she, she emotionally manipulated her and abused her and all that stuff. Well, you know that way, but she didn't like physically abuse her. Like, no, she, right, emotionally. Right. Abused, she loved yeah. her, but she anyway. And it's that it's the story, but it's a true story. So I've seen mm. the 2020 about this girl. I've seen um, th- two documentaries have been out about this since, but this one is really good. And it's Patricia Arquette playing this little girl's mother. Little the girl's probably like okay. sixteen, you know, at this right, point. Right, right. And the girl who plays uh, this. The lead is amazing, and I looked her up, and she's in a ton of, of uh, like those like B rated horror movies and stuff. And right, she, right, yeah, right, she was right. in The Conjuring too, which is right. actually was, but she is just amazing how they transformed really her good, to huh? look just like the girl. Oh, uh, what's the name of it again? The Act. The act, okay. Yeah, and I don't think it'll be, like, disturbing. It's just, I just don't want to tell you the story in case you watch right, it. Right, right. Because I may end up don't Google, it. like, you know what I mean? Don't Google the true no, story no, or no, anything. No, so, no. yeah. So, anyway, that's something new I've been watching on Netflix, which, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, Hulu, if anyone's interested. It's on Hulu. Um, Did you want it, what was the news did you want to start with? Um, yeah, I know you. I guess. This is the most recent one I saw. Okay. Well, you know I'm afraid of the Scientologists. We've talked about this. Yeah. You know we've talked about how I can't go to Clearwater because I'm too afraid of it because I right. watched a half. I watched that one half episode of Leah Remini and I got terrified because they're so powerful. Yes. Well, now there is a cruise ship owned by the Scientologists that's port. That's that's docked in St. Lucia because there's a massive measles outbreak on the cruise ship. Oh, because you know measles. they don't do vaccine. They're not really they don't do the vaccines and all that stuff. So now the whole place, the whole thing is full of measles. It's parked in St. Lucia, um, and now they're breaking down and having the officials of St. Lucia get them measles vaccine to try to prevent the prevent the rest of the ship from getting it. Now this is. A whole. This is not. This is a whole private cruise ship. This is owned by them. So it's mm-hmm. not anything that's going to be loose on your next cruise. I'm not right, trying right. to incite panic. This is not anything like a co- no comp- major company owns this ship. It's their ship, and um, so they have to have uh, vaccines sent there. But they have to. They have to quarantine this ship. It was supposed to come back like on Thursday mm-hmm. or today. But they now they have to quarantine the ship um, for an extra ten to twelve days. People are going to be locked on this ship because um, that's the incubation period for measles. So all these people 
Scientologists are out there with their measles ship. And no, they're gonna be man. Stuck. Well, they're going to be stuck. Doctor, they said St. Lucia said they could leave the port if they want to, but nobody's going to let these people off the ship at any port. They have to stay. They have to stay quarantined. So they'll probably just stay there, Doc, because if someone needs serious medical attention, you know, you're going to have to be at a port to receive that. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, that's what's going on with the measles ship. Oh man! So, well, I'll tell you. Well, a giant floating petri dish of measles. For, for uh, right. Nothing, for Everybody for is nothing. saying that uh, <laughs> the only the smartest thing Trump ever has said now is he was coming out the, saying, yeah, yeah. "They the need to get your he, shots." He, yeah, he finally uh, came out, and wow, people agree with it finally. Yeah, there. Everyone was like the smartest thing he's ever said, and oh. um, you know, I. This whole, okay, so we've had our measles shots, obviously, right, when we were younger, but do I, do I, do, don't we need a booster? Like, can we get that? You get boosters when you're smaller. Uh Uh-huh. I don't think you need boosters as an adult. Okay, so. I remember getting boosters as a kid. I don't think you, I don't think you get booster. You know, I think it's like a, babe, we have a question. How does measles work? We don't need boosters as an adult, do we? Um. That's supposed to. We don't need boosters as adults. <laughs> okay. That's Thanks. Supposed to, but there yeah. are some people that some people immunosuppressed may need a booster. Yeah, I mean, okay. So another thing is the whole the smallpox. Like a lot of people never got the smallpox vaccine. I think I was like some of the few that they stopped. I what got my smallpox. Everyone's it's... got smallpox vaccine. No, we don't. We don't. Oh, no, no, we don't. Military, sure is right. Yep, I have mine because I have the scar on my arm. But they stopped it at a certain age. I got so now mine. the smallpox is making a comeback. Oh my God! Don't say that. That's the worst thing to ever have. If these people, I mean, is it? the smallpox is just horrific. Don't Google it. You'll freak out. I'm not gonna Google it. Don't Google it. You'll freak out when you see what happens to you but yeah so a lot of people didn't get that so i don't know i guess we don't have to worry about the smallpox no i don't think it's coming back that's got right all right so on to something um some really exciting news is uh did you know that roseanne barr has revealed that she is queer In a now deleted YouTube video. please stay on the other side i don't want you over here we don't need you on this fence. Get off the fence and do- don't come over the fence. Don't get all crazy, then jump the fence. Are you serious? Yeah. She's That's queer. All we need. Why do they get crazy before they jump the fence? I don't know, but she said that I'm queer and she's an alien. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's so. a queer alien. I'm yes. fantastic. Thanks, uh, for, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Now you bye. can go back to the other side of the fence. Bye, girl. Bye-bye. Uh, oh. <laughs> all right. Um, did you? So I, we covered this before. Yeah, why? Well, but this is still happening. Apparently, mm-hmm. people are still sticking garlic in their vaginas. Yeah, for absolutely what? no, for no medical purpose. They think it's supposed to purify and cleanse um, your hoo ha and the surrounding area, but it does not do that. It does not cause. A, it does not. Uh, um, cure yeast infections. It does not cure uh, bacterial vaginosis or any other um, any other sort of ailment you have in your mm-hmm. vagina. So um, you should not be putting garlic in there. I hope nobody is. It's, it's an old hippie wives' tale, and we covered this once. I think um, when we started on um, a different show. Mm-hmm. A while ago, and um, people are still doing it, still a problem, so please stop. Okay? <laughs> I just can't imagine what that must smell like. I, I this... And wouldn't it burn? I'm not, I'm not even going to say it. it I, don't, I don't know, because I don't do it, Cindy, because I'm All a right. smart person. Fine. Yeah. All right. Do you really think that beluga whales are... Like that, Russia is using beluga whales to for spying. 
I don't know. They found that one with a harness. Did you see with a Russian military harness? And it was... And a poor whale. Did you see how friendly it was? I guess it was a super friendly whale. It was coming up and wanted snacks. It was was a beluga whale. Yeah, Those big white it. ones, yeah. And it was yeah, off the coast of Norway. It was, obvious, it was obviously, like, hand-fed because he came up to those no those no regions. Yeah. And he wanted, like, he was asking for snacks, like, from right. the people Right, it was there, crazy, so. and they were giving him all these snacks. But yeah. I was like, I didn't even, I'm like, oh, my God, they have, that. it was, like, rigged up with something. You know what? I would hope it wouldn't be, like, an explosive. That makes me really sad if, if it's something like that. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I doubt they were just studying whales, like no. the migration of the beluga whale in yeah. Russia. They're not. See, I don't think they're that interested in that. But apparently, they do have trained dolphins for the military, and that's been like a well documented. Um, that's been a well documented thing with the right. so, the, not Soviet, you know, Russian army. Yeah. So, so you know how we were talking about like um. The millennials now, everybody's saying, like, because a lot of, they don't want kids. They're not having kids, but they no, are buying houses to, uh, to, to revolve Shoot around their, their dogs, yeah. their animals, yeah. right. So now another report, I don't know where it came from, but dog owners are taking more photos of their pets than their actual spouse <laughs> or other family member. <laughs> That's a hundred percent true on my phone. So, so I was laughing. So, how many pictures are there of your cats on your phone? Huh? There's a ton because I have seven cats and only one wife. Right. So I, you know, there's obvious. There's at least a seven to one ratio, and it's probably not even that because Sherry doesn't. You know, she's sitting there eating her dinner, mm-hmm. or like you know, her head's tipped back, like taking a nap while we're watching. She doesn't want me to take a picture of her. It's yeah. not cute. You know, that's not cute to her if I post that on Facebook. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, yeah, there is this meme. There is this good meme that I posted this week. I, I, I should put it on our page, too. And it said, how awkward would it be if your pet took your phone and saw thousands of pictures of um, that you took of it sleeping? <laughs> you know, how would, your, how would your pet feel? How would Max? How would Max feel if you saw these, if he mm. went on there and was like, what are all these pictures of me on here? Yeah. So, so here, here's another, I got another millennial thing that's Yeah. Going on. It's called the rise of soligamy. It's called, Solig- more people are saying I do to themselves. Oh! Okay. So, okay. So soligamy. <laughs> soligamy. Uh-huh. They're saying I do to themselves. They're making a pact to stay single. And they're saying they don't, you know, they don't need a man to make them happy. And you know how people say, well, I, I'm so sick of everyone. I'm just going to marry myself. You know how people say that? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to marry myself and be done with it. Well, people are actually um, doing self-marriage ceremonies and inviting their friends to it. <laughs> they are doing a self-marriage mm-hmm. ceremony. They're having a DJ and a cake. And all these things. And their be- best You're man and maid of honor. Or maid of honor could be their dog. Right. And you're supposed to show up while they say I do um, to choosing themselves and putting themselves first in their life over a spouse or children or any of these things. Okay. So um, people are doing <laughs> ceremonies for that. Now, c- let me ask you, honestly, <laughs> if you received an invitation... For a friend, say they registered and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to their soligamy uh, marriage party. And then what happens uh, if they meet someone and try to get married? Uh, yeah, I feel like you have to <laughs> divorce yourself. You're done. You don't you get another through. party. You should, right, that's what I'm saying. Right. That's what I'm saying. Is this a, is this a ploy to get um, gifts or mm-hmm. is this you like a real thing? Yeah. You don't get another party. That's it. You're done. That's yeah, I'll be like, I went to your first, uh, I went mm-hmm. to your first wedding to yourself. Remember that? Yeah. You know, another <laughs> yeah. thing though, I was watching uh, Vanderpump. Well, I watched Vanderpump, but a few episodes ago, one of the ki- one of the people on there, the the stars or whatever, uh, was having a uh, doggy shower. Yeah. So you go. They Those were, I agree with. They I were adopting a dog, shower. and they were having a shower. I agree with that. I've had people yeah. give me stuff. I've had people give me stuff for my new kittens. 
when I've had them. Yeah. Okay. I think so that's you, cute. Yeah, because it's not a big deal. You show up with some treats mm-hmm. or like a toy. Well, and- it's not.